Welcome back to the video here on the Quality Channel. Today we crack it open, the famous grouse bourbon cask. So let's crack it open and see what it tastes like. All right, let's go on for our nose. First thing that stands out, it's like a a raw honey with honeycomb, the wax on it. Yeah, it's like you got like a packaging of honeycomb and you opened it up. That's the smell I get. But then with like overnight oats. Yeah, yeah like just like overnight oats has been... I don't want to say fermenting, but it just has that smell when you open up a package of overnight oats. Yeah. And then it has like a oaky sweetness. Kind of like if you took a barrel, put honey in it, and let it saturate that barrel, and you somehow got the aromas out of that wood, or like the wood notes out of that honey. And that's really what's transferred into the glass. Yeah, no, that's a very nice, nice nose. So, let's go in for a taste. Mmm. It's that creamy vanilla. Close the palate. Oh, it's like a, it's like a real vanilla. It's not like an artificial vanilla. It's like vanilla beans, but not like the like vanilla beans like by themselves, but it's like a vanilla bean paste, like that very, very fancy uh, vanilla bean paste. Like uh, my mom used it for baking cookies and stuff like that, and that's like, that's what it is. It's like a very, it's a very good like, I don't want to say concentrate, but it's like a real vanilla taste. Like it's not like fake vanilla. It's like if you took like vanilla bean pods and you put them in the uh, rum, that's what I'm getting off of it. But it's a creamy, nice texture. The honey goes right over. Taste that wood. But it's definitely, you can, you can um, taste the uh, the bourbon cast, like 100%. But it's right there on the back end. It's not in the very first front, but the vanilla is right up there in front. That creaminess. Maybe like a citrusy orange peel as well. Like it's very subtle, very light. The main thing is that creamy vanilla. The finish is kind of short, not very long. But you do get like the vanilla bean on like the edge of your palate for a bit. But it's not like a very emotional or very real coaster ride of a finish. If anything, you get like that maltiness, like oats, like that. I kind of want to say overnight oats because it, that's why I got on the nose, but it's like a maltiness, oats. Yeah, and then the wrap of like a, like a, it kind of feels like a bourbon after you drank a bourbon for a little bit and you stopped, and that lingering palate feel and taste you get in your mouth. That's what I get on the finish. Like it's not very influential or like very mind blowing. It's there, but it's not too crazy. It's nice and subtle. Very easy drinking. Very delicious actually. And it is at 80. So it's right there at rock bottom, but enjoyable pour for sure. If someone poured this for me, I would not be uh, disappointed at all. But when you do have a very large, extensive collection to choose from, then you do like to pour the nice stuff. But this is definitely something that I can enjoy while watching a movie where I'm not trying to get too distracted from what I'm drinking. And sit back and enjoy this. So thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. May the best of your past, may the worst of your future. Cheers.